Welcome to this new video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use application load balancer way to target group. Wow, that's a lot of word in, in one single sentence. So an application load balancer, you know what it is. It, it allows to balance loads, receive requests and dispatch requests amongst the fleet of Amazon EC2 instances, for example, or Lambda function. And a load balancer works with a target group. So a target group is um, the target for the load balancer. Since a few months, you can have multiple target groups and you can assign different weights to your multiple target groups. Like say, hey, 80% of the traffic goes to that target group and 20% of the traffic will go to that uh, target group. Why is it useful? Why do you want to do that? Uh, one of the reasons, there are multiple reasons, but just one of the reasons is blue-green deployment. What is blue-green deployment? The idea of blue-green deployment, instead of, of deploying a new version of your application on the same infrastructure, on the same Amazon EC2 instance, you deploy a new infrastructure uh, next to the, the production one. And then you progressively swift, uh, switch traffic between the old infrastructure and the new infrastructure. Like, uh, 5%, 10%, 20%, and you monitor your, your main KPI, your main metrics, technical and business metrics. And if everything goes well, then you end up uh, sending 100% of the traffic on, on the new infrastructure. If anything goes bad, you can just revert and send 100% of the traffic back again on the old infrastructure so that you have time to fix the new infrastructure and try deployment again. There are many different ways to do that. Some are using DNS, but now with the new application load balance, so way to target group, you can use that technique uh, to do bl your uh, blue-green deployment. Let's see how it uh, works. Uh, in November 2019, when we released this new feature, I wrote a blog post that, that shows you how you can implement that inside your infrastructure. And for this demo, I'm going to use uh, the blog post structure and the infrastructure that I create for, for the blog post. So it's a very typical web application infrastructure with two uh, availability zones. I also create two auto-scaling group, both with a couple of Amazon EC2 instances. And uh, one auto-scaling group is for the blue version of the application and the other auto scaling group is for the green version of uh, the uh, application. Uh, in reality I have only one instance per auto scaling group because it's just a demo I don't need anything else. Um, all this infrastructure is created by a script, a CDK script that you can download. The link is here, it's on my GitHub. Uh, I will give you the address of the GitHub uh, in, the, in the video notes and at the end of this uh, video uh, as well. So let's go to the um, Amazon uh, EC2 uh, console you see that I have my two instances running from the two different uh, auto-scaling group and um, I can uh, check that the load balancer has been created yes it has been created and the load balancer receive a DNS name. So I can copy that DNS name and test my load balancer. You see, I have a green version of my application. And if I reload, eventually I might end up uh, hitting the, the, the blue one as well. It depends on the browser, it depends on the cache. But right now there is no rule that says, hey, go to one or, or the other. Oh, uh, this is the blue. Oh, something is missing there. Looks like it didn't download uh, the style sheet. Oh, that, that's the blue version of, of the application. Um, let's create our two new target groups. You see I have one target group right now in the application load balancer target group uh, console. So here on the on the bottom left part, uh, that's the one created by my script. We, we don't really need that uh, anymore. So let's create a blue one and pay attention to the VPC. It has to be in the same VPC as your load balancer, of course, otherwise you cannot not use it. Um, the target type is for instance uh, because we are going to eat Amazon EC2 instance and not a specific IP uh, address. So that's the blue. Uh, let's create a green one uh, very quickly, green and in the correct uh, VPC. So now I have my two uh, target groups and uh, to associate the Amazon EC2 instance to these uh, target group, I will um, change the configuration of the uh, auto scaling group. So let's go to the auto scaling group uh, console. You see that I have two auto scaling group. Maybe we can try the new console as well. Um, let's first modify the blue uh, scaling group. And the blue scaling group has uh, my load balancer and it has uh, the, the target group that has been created by default by the script. Let's remove that one. We are in the blue uh, auto scaling group. So let's associate the blue target group. Uh, and then I do the same for the green target group. 
uh, sorry, green auto scaling group to associate the green target group in auto in load balancer. So green here. Yeah. So by doing so, um, auto scaling will be in charge of actually registering the Amazon EC2 instance to my uh, target group. So if I go back to the target group uh, console here on the left side, um, after a few minutes, very quickly, depends on your health checks, and the parameter uh, you have defined. But here in my targets, you see that the, the blue is already there and the green is not yet there, but it's a matter of minute. If we refresh, it will eventually arrive uh, arrive uh, there. But why, while it's doing that, uh, let's do the last piece of modification uh, we need to do um, to note that we have the two, um, um, note that we have the two target groups. Let's configure the load balancer to send a percentage of the traffic to one target group and another percentage to the other target. Group. And to do that, I'm going to the load balancer uh, console here on the left side. I go to the listener and I have one listener listening on HTTP 80. Right now it's forwarding everything to my default target group. I don't want to do that. Uh, so let's edit, edit and edit. Edit again, yet it's three times clicking on edit. Um, you can then define that you have multiple target group, blue and green, and you can define a weight. The way the weight is working is that we make the sum of all the values you, you give, and then we send traffic respectively to the value, a percentage uh, to, to, to the sum. So if you put 80 and 20, the sum is 100. So this one will receive 80 out of 100, 80%, and the other one will receive 20%. Um, if I want 50-50, I can do uh, this, for example, one and one, because one plus one equal two, one out of two, it's 50% and so on. Um, so up to you to choose. You can choose whatever number makes sense uh, for you. Uh, let's say here, I will have majority of blue and sometime uh, uh, green. Do not forget to update and the change propagates almost immediately. So I should be able uh, to, to test that. Let's just verify that my green target group has the green instance registered, my blue target group has the blue instance registered. So it means that auto scaling was actually uh, working uh, correctly. So going back here and let's start to do a reload. So I'm going to click on that button uh, with the shift key to, um, to force the browser to make a, a, a refresh. And okay, I'm very lucky here because eight times out of uh, 10, it will go to the blue version and two times it will go to um, the green version. I definitely have something uh, not working with the, the reloading of my uh, style sheet. I should fix that. Uh, but okay, we see that it's blue, blue, blue. It's really a majority of blue. No, the style sheet is working. Ah, and we have a bit of green again. But you see, with all my reload, it's a majority of blue. And over a long period of time, if you take a statistically relevant uh, data set, you will see that it's 80% on the blue and 20% on the green. So this is how you can uh, actually create weight a target group for your application load balancer. There are multiple use cases for that. One of them is blue-green deployment. That's why I choose this name, blue and green. It can be uh, done for A-B testing as well. Um, many, many other uh, use cases as well. I, I describe a few of them uh, in, in the introduction of the blog post. Uh, don't forget the, uh, the script to create that infrastructure if you want to, to test that yourself. It's on my GitHub account. Also give me feedback. You can also join me on my uh, personal YouTube channel, Sepsto, Sepsto, Sepsto everywhere. Uh, please tell me what you want uh, to address for the future video. Uh, thank you for having watched this one, this episode, and see you soon. Yeah,